In this video, we'll be solving a simple problem on the design of shaft. So here we have a problem where a power transmission shaft is to be designed and this is supported in bearings 2 meter apart and it carries a pulley weighing 1 kN. So the entire pulley is weighing 1 kN and it receives power by a belt drive. So power transmission is by using pulley and belt and the arrangement of belt coming over this pulley is given the belt is running in the horizontal direction so belt tensions are shown here so belt is running horizontally and its uh, shaft layout is shown so in later pages i will be showing the isometric view of the shaft layout and this is transmitting power the power transmitted is 20 kilowatts at 120 rpm so we can calculate the torque or the twisting moment for this problem the ratio of belt tensions is 3 is to 1 that is the tight side tension here only one uh, pulley and belt arrangement or one only one uh, pulley is coming on the shaft uh, to be designed so the uh, tight and slack side doesn't matter so here we are taking the top side to be tight t1 tension and slack side to be the t2 tension and the ratio of tight side and slack side tensions are given us 3 is to 1 and here we have to find the size of the shaft that means diameter we have to find and here we have to use the permissible uh, the permissible stress and shear is given so we have to use the shear stress theory or the maximum shear stress theory and uh, so i am showing the equation which is required for solving this problem diameter we have to find and this is uh, from page number 51 for the shaft in data book you can obtain this expression and also i have shown in the previous video so diameter equal to 16 by pi into tau y by fos into square root of cm into m the whole square plus ct into t the whole square the whole raised to 1 by 3 where cm and ct are the correction factors for bending moment and twisting moment and in question it is uh, mentioned to take 1.5 both for both values where m is the load which is the net bending moment that we have to find for this problem and t is the net twisting moment or torque for this problem that we'll be evaluating and here tau y by fs is actually the tau permissible or the allowable shear stress which is given in the problem 54 mega pascal or 54 into 10 raised to 6 newtons per meter square and our main aim is to find this m and t so we can substitute directly onto this one so you can find the diameter d so let's uh, move on to that so here you can see the uh, shaft layout in an isometric uh, view so here the shaft is here which is carrying the power transmission element pulley and over its belt is running in the horizontal direction and if you are looking from the left side then the side inside view you can see the uh, pulley here and belt running over this in this direction so here i am taking the tight side in the top so the tension will be coming here which is t1 and this will be the slack side tension this is t2 so in this figure this will be t1 and this will be t2 and here we have to design the shaft which is located at the center so we have to transfer the forces acting at this location to the center then you will be having the uh, forces the net force acting at the center of the shaft will be t1 plus t2 and along with a couple will be there and that couple is actually the moment or the twisting moment which is t1 minus t2 into r this is the twisting moment where r is the radius of this pulley so we can calculate this uh, torque so torque is equal to t1 minus t2 into r where this t is actually representing the torque and this t1 and t2 are representing the belt tensions which are forces in newton where torque is in newton meter so we have to evaluate the belt tensions so this is in newton so and here also one more information is given the ratio of slack tight side to slack side tension is 3 is to 1 or 3 t1 by t2 is 3 and here we have to find the value of torque so we are already having power is equal to 2 pi n t divided by 60 so power is given us uh, 20 kilowatts so power is 20 kilowatts and n is 120 rpm so here you can rearrange and find the expression for torque capital t equal to 60 into p or 60 into 20 into 10 raised to 3 divided by uh, 2 pi into n which is 120 and if you are solving this one you will be getting the twisting moment or torque as 
1590 newton meter so this is the answer for torque so here we are having one equation for we are we have to calculate the values of tight side and slack side tension so one is torque equal to t1 minus t2 into r where radius of the pulley is given so if you are looking observing the question uh, then the pulley diameter is given which is 200 mm then radius is 100 mm or 0.1 meter so you can calculate t1 and t2 so here another expression is there t1 uh, by t2 is equal to 3 so you can solve these two equations simultaneously and you can find the value of the tight side tension t1 and slack side tension t2 so if you are solving you will get a t1 as 23850 newton and the slack side tension as 7950 newton so these are the tight side and slack side tension so now we will be requiring these tensions to find the net bending moment see in this equation we have to find or to find the diameter to substitute in the maximum shear stress expression we need the value of net twisting moment and net bending moment so here already we are having the value of net twisting moment which is 1590 newton meter for uh, evaluating the the net bending moment we'll have to draw the some loading diagrams so we'll be going for that so in this diagram here i am showing the shaft layout again and i have transferred the different loads acting to the shaft location so here you can see the belt tensions t1 and t2 will be acting in this direction and this will be uh, lying in a plane that is in this horizontal plane that you can see in this figure and this uh, weight of the pulley is given which is around one kilo or thousand newton which is acting in this vertical direction or it is lying in a vertical plane so these two uh, forces are acting at actually mutually perpendicular so this will be bending the shaft in two directions so this force will be bending the shaft in this direction and this vertical weight will be bending this shaft this vertical weight will be bending this shaft in this direction so these two bendings will be creating bending moments in horizontal and vertical so we need to take the horizontal loading diagram and vertical loading diagram separately then we have to find the net bending moment from these horizontal and vertical so we will we will be seeing that so for that we will be taking only one uh, loading at a time that means we will be considering all the uh, loadings which are acting in the horizontal planes at a time and in the next case we will be taking the all loads acting in the vertical plane so from this figure we will be calculating or we will be drawing the loading diagrams so first we will be constructing the vertical loading diagram by considering this only force which is acting in the vertical planes because this is acting in the horizontal plane so we will be moving on to that so for this problem here we have i already mentioned that we will be considering for drawing the vertical loading diagram so the name is vertical loading diagram we will be considering only the load acting in the vertical plane so load where acting in the vertical plane is actually the weight of the pulley which is equal to 1000 newton so this is equal to 1000 newton and against this the uh, bearings will be developing reactions and where reactions developed at both ends will be named as ra and rb since it is vertical loading diagram this will be named as rav and rvv no other external forces are developed so only external forces due to this weight so i can draw this uh, shaft uh, or the vertical loading diagram in this form so for this i will be observing from the front so if you are looking from the front view then you can see the shaft as a line so i am drawing this shaft as a line and i am naming these points a and b and at center our pulley is coming and in this vertical direction the load w is acting and against this rav reaction is there and rbv reaction is there next we have to evaluate the bending moment actually for that i will be evaluating these reactions for this i will be using this equation the uh, sigma f equal to zero sigma f equal to zero means r a v plus r b v will be equal to w that is thousand newton so this w is actually equal to thousand newton then sigma m about the point a i am taking then you can obtain r a v moment is zero then rbv into the moment created by this rbv about point a is rbv anti clock is rbv into distance is two meters 
so this will be equal to rbv into 2 this is anti clockwise moment and moment created by this load w about point a is actually clockwise so the distance is 1 meter between them so i can write clockwise moment on one side and anti clockwise moment on other side so this will be equal to 1000 newton into 1 meter so this will be you uh, so you can solve these two equations simultaneously and you can find the value of rav and r bv so if you are solving you will be getting rav equal to 500 newton and rbv equal to 500 newton so this is because otherwise also this is symmetrically loaded so this is 500 newton and this is 500 newton next we have to evaluate the bending moment at these three critical points that is bending moment at a bending moment at b and bending moment at c so for this you already studied in the uh, mos mechanics of solids so for finding the bending moment at any point you will be standing on that point and looking on to either side suppose for finding the bending moment at point b you will be standing here and looking on to the right side or left side so it is similar to look on to the right side because on right side there is no force so since there is no force no bending moment will be acting at this section so the bending moment acting at the section b will be equal to zero similarly if you are standing at section a you can look look on to the left there is no force so the bending moment at a will also be zero and to find the bending moment at C, you will be standing here and you can look onto any side. So I, here I am looking onto the right side and the only force acting is RBV and this force is acting at the same location. So this won't be creating any moment. So moment created about C by this RBV is actually 500 Newton into 1 meter, which is 500 Newton meter. So I can write this as 500 newton meter and these values are found for the vertical loading so this will be mav mbv and mcv so these values are important so which will be using for finally calculating the net bending moment so this much value you can find from the by constructing the vertical loading diagram so similarly we'll be constructing the horizontal loading diagram where the external loads acting in the horizontal plane will only be considered so let's move on to that so here you can see the horizontal loading diagram here i am not considering the weight of the pulley here the loads which is acting in the horizontal plane that is the t1 plus t2 acting because of this belt tensions will be in the horizontal plane and against that the uh, bearings will be developing reactions that is shown in this direction which is rah and rbh so here also i am uh, drawing the loading diagram from this shaft layout to this form so here for observing this one i will be looking from the top so top we will be giving you the shaft as a line so i am drawing the shaft as line and naming points a and b and at center c is there and t1 plus t2 is acting in this direction so arrow will be coming that means this will be the t1 plus t2 and against this rah and rbh is acting so already you are having the values of uh, t1 and t2 so t1 is 23850 plus t2 is 7950 newton you are having so here also you have to evaluate the rah and rbh so for that you can write the expression sigma f equal to zero that is rah plus r b h will be equal to the t1 plus t2 which numerical value you are already knowing this much newton and similarly you can take the moment about point a then the force rbh into distance between a and b is 2 meter this will be equal to the force t1 plus t2 that is this t1 plus t2 acting or creating moment about a in clockwise direction and rbh is creating moment about a in anti-clockwise direction and that distance is rbh for moment is rbh into distance 2 meter that term is actually this one and next will be the t1 plus t2 clockwise moment distance is 1 meter so here i will be writing this t1 plus t2 into 1 meter so you can solve this equation simultaneously and you can find the value of rah and rbh in newton that is the reactions at the bearings for this horizontal loading so if you are solving you will be getting rahs 15900 newton and rbh as same again it is symmetric loading so both reactions will be same 15000 900 newton that is this half of this total t1 plus t2 will be this reactions so here also i have to calculate the 
bending moment at all these points for the horizontal loading that is m a h m b h and m c h i have to evaluate so similar to the previous case m a h will be becoming zero and m b h will be becoming zero because on to either side no force are there so, so no bending moment next to find the bending moment let us see i can stand on this position and look on to the right then bending one will be created only by rbh and that moment is rbh into this one meter and if you are observing that moment will be equal to 15900 newton into one meter that is this will be equal to 15900 newton meter so these are the horizontal components of bending moment at all these important points a b and c so now we are uh, having the bending moment uh, for horizontal and vertical loading from this we will be evaluating the net bending moment uh, for this shaft at these three points so net bending moment at a b c you can evaluate net bending moment at any point will be equal to the square root of sum of its horizontal component square and vertical component square and already we have observed that for point a horizontal and vertical is zero so net bending moment will be zero similarly for point b the horizontal and vertical is zero so net bending moment will be zero and point c we have we are having the horizontal and vertical and we observe that the uh, horizontal bending moment is around 15900 newton meter so 15900 square plus the other one was 500 newton meter so 500 newton meter square and if you are finding this will be equal to 15910 newton meter you will be getting so at a point c so from this one you have to substitute the maximum bending moment to the maximum shear stress equation to find the diameter so out of this the m at c is maximum so the value of m to be substituted should be equal to 15910 newton meter so in si units we are using and we already obtained at the beginning the net twisting moment that is due to the uh, power transmission 11 belt and pulley arrangement which we have evaluated using the belt tensions t1 minus t2 into radius of the pulley was equal to 1590 newton meter so these two values we have to substitute in the maximum shear stress equation to find the diameter of the shaft so we'll be finding the diameter of the shaft in next step so here i am showing the equation for maximum shear stress theory to find the diameter then diameter will be equal to 16 divided by pi into tau y by fs is actually the allowable shear stress which is given as 54 mega pascal so this will be substituted in SA unit so it is 54 into 10 raised to 6 into square root of cm value is given as 1.5 into net bending moment is 15910 the whole square plus again ct correction factor for the twisting moment is also 1.5 into the 1590 1590 square and the whole raised to 1 by 3 so if you are solving you will be getting the diameter in si units that is in meters you will be getting around point sorry point 131 meter you will be getting and this is equivalent to 131 mm so this is the diameter that you are uh, getting for this shaft so in last step you will be standardizing and you will be finding the standard size of the shaft and for finding the standard size of the shaft you can look for this table given in page number 57 and from this you can obtain the next uh, standard size after that is coming after this 131 that is coming 125 is here and 140 is here so the standard value will be equal to 140 mm so this will be the final answer so this is the way how you can solve or uh, design a shaft according to the different loads which are coming on this one. So hope you understood in the next video we will be solving problems where uh, more than one that means the shaft will be carrying two uh, pulley and belt arrangements or two gears or a mix of uh, belt and gears will be coming. So we will be solving such problems in the coming videos. So thanks for watching.